What's up, everybody? Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. In fact, by the time this video goes up, I think a larger portion of the world has been given access to the game. I don't know what countries exactly. So, if you uh, want to play the game and you haven't yet, like, been able to, because it's kind of like a, a periodic release, country to country or region to region type of thing, check the Play Stores or your Apple, I, I, whatever the Apple Store is called. I don't know. I'm running, I'm running on Android on the Samsung. But um, go and check out, see if it's downloadable yet it will be rolling out worldwide soon they keep on stressing that so i'm super duper excited but we got some new dinosaurs since a last video uh only three so it's been not a quiet one because i've been really really busy um there's just less dinosaurs for me to catch but they are big dinosaurs they're not just your average dinosaurs in fact one of them is this big fella right here we got ourselves another epic and it's not just any epic it is the tyrannosaurus rex the the normal one which i'm so excited to be getting and i'm not gonna waste any time but before we do it i said i wasn't wasting time i'm gonna waste a little bit of time i'm gonna put a little question out to you guys today let me know down below in the comment section what is your favorite dinosaur in the jurassic world kind of I don't know, lore in the Jurassic world. Because these dinosaurs aren't all real dinosaurs. Some of them might be, some of them might not be. Like the Indominus Rex obviously ain't real. But what is your favorite dinosaur inside of Jurassic world? It doesn't have to be in Alive. It could be in the games. It could be in the movies. It could be in the Jurassic world, the movie game that came out a couple years ago. I don't care. Just let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, back to business. We're not wasting any more time. And I mean it this time. Let's go. Let's create ourselves the T-Rex. <sighs> There he is! Oh god, it's so exciting! 2,000 health, 828 damage. Supposedly, he is the strongest dinosaur in the game. And we can level him up. I'm not raiding you right now. We can level him up! We've got the perfect amount of XP to do it. It's gonna cost us... Oh, that's $2,000 well spent. An extra 100 health, an extra 41 damage. He's got a 30% crit chance as well. Um, so... He can evolve into two different things. We have the uh, the, the Trichosaurus. The Trichosaurus. I haven't seen one of these guys before, but they don't look friendly. And he is a hybrid with another creature, but you gotta get him to level 20. That's gonna take so long. So let's not even focus on that there. And then of course the Indominus Rex at level 15, which I came up against in the battle arena. And he does like 5,000 damage. The Indominus Rex is like ridiculously strong. I. It's horrible. I hope you guys never have to witness that. Anyways, next up, we got a rare. This is the Parasaurus. I've seen a lot of these guys in the Battle Dome recently. Um, I think it's one of the higher Battle Dome tier exclusive dinosaurs. You can't catch these guys on the streets. You got to find them in the Battle Dome. Uh, we can only get it out to level six, unfortunately, but he's kind of cool. He's a big old alligator. He's one of the new dinosaurs in the newest update, and his attacks include a pinning strike, exposing a weak spot, and a strengthening strike. So they're nothing like too crazy. Um, I'm probably not going to use him, but he's cool anyways. He has no hybrids. I, yeah, won't really seek any more experience for him. And then we've got the Parasaurus Generation 2. Okay, I didn't even know this guy was the Gen 2, but actually, I don't think it's Generation. All right, I've been trying to work this out, okay? I originally thought Generation. Then someone told me it was Gender. I reckon it's Genome. Genome. This game is all about, like, genomes and the modification of the genomes, and they're all different and stuff. I think it's Genome. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Tell me what you think. Uh, anyways, this guy here, pretty much the same attacks, just not as cool as the other one, basically. The other one, the rare one, the better one. Um, okay, so that is an all, though, because although we have three new dinosaurs, I think we actually qualify for a new hybrid today as well. Um, this guy here, the Suchomomimus. I think we can get ourselves the Suchote. No, we can't. I thought we could for some reason. We got super close. But I swear there is one of these guys that I'm able to get, maybe. Or maybe not. I could be wrong. There's another low-level evolution here somewhere. The Postometrodon? Nope, definitely not. Spinodesuchus? Definitely not. Damn it, I gotta get this little Suchus. Oh, in fact, we gotta get this guy to level 10 for his hybrid. So we may as well go and upgrade him to level 8. Um, there was one of these guys. Now we're gonna go and have a little bit of a look through. May as well get the Apatosaurus up to level 9 as well, because he's got a hybrid that we're saving up for. The Nodopatosaurus, who's actually quite tough. I've come across this guy a few times. And he only needs what? One more level? Two more levels. I don't even know where he's gone. He's at the top of my screen now or something. He's disappeared. Clearly doesn't want to be upgraded. Um, and then... 
This is the other one that we're getting super close to being able to get as well. The Stegoceratops. We're going to get the, uh, the track and the Stegosaurus up to level 10. And then obviously the experience to get the epic. I'm battling a lot of those guys in the Battle Dome. Uh, they're not that crazily strong, but... With the tap of a button, we've got now Stego to level 10, which means he now qualifies to be a Stegoceratops. We've just got to get the Triceratops there, which is currently, I think ours is at level 9. I need another 47 Triceratops XP, so we'll get that probably by next video. I just got to find one of the guys. Um, how about this guy, the Allocinosaurus? Are we close to getting him? No, we don't even know what dinosaur he needs to be. And he's going to be a level 15. So we may as well go and upgrade him as well. He needs another four levels anyways. Well, he's going to need so much experience, but we'll get there sooner or later, I'm sure. This guy here is useless. He's got no, he's the, the genome too. Has no upgrades. Megalosaurus. The Megosuchus. Oh, we're going to get these guys to level 15. We may as well go and upgrade him as well. Man, we are burning through some cash today, but it's all going to the right places, and that's all that matters. All right, guys, so I had a brief little interruption there. I had to disappear for some family business, but I am back, and um, I can't remember where I left off, to be fair, but... <laughs> While I was away, I was doing a couple little battle dome battles, battle arena, whatever it's called, and I was having a look through my dinosaurs when I found out, in fact, there is a dinosaur that I think I can hybrid. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. It's the Irritator Gen 2, who I've forgotten what he looks like, but he's a weird looking fella, and I'm just scrolling through here looking for the little guy, um, and he can combine- it's not that, that's the Spino guy, right? That's the Spinosaurus, who I'm gonna evolve anyway, because he's got the Spinoteraptor that he can eventually hybridize into, but he's not the guy we're looking for. No, 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 no. This guy, maybe. Suchimamimus? Can he hybrid with the Sucho Potato? Oh, that's right. Yes. So the irritator here. Oh, that's right. So <laughs> we've got a lot of experience on this guy, a lot of DNA. So we can actually evolve him. I'm pretty sure I measured this out so that we can get him up to level five and then we can work towards the hybrid. The problem, the only problem I see foreseeable in the near future is do we have enough DNA to go and get all of the DNA to get the hybrid spawned? And that's what I'm not sure about. But our irritator, oh, we've only got 180 of it. That's not enough. Ah, that's a little bit disappointing. But it does mean we can we can initialize fusing these two guys together to get ourselves the Sucho Potato. The Sucho Tato. But Sucho 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 Tator. But whenever I read that, I just see potato. So potato potato. It's all good, whatever's. Let's get this thing fused up, and it's off to a bad start. We only got 10 DNA for that one there. And we've only got oh, we got enough DNA for two more. Oh, these guys only need 50 each. They don't need the whole 70 like the Majunda Sutras did. But we've got another pretty, pretty bad fuse there. Well, the last one. Let's get this one out the way. And it's a 20. So we got a long way to go. Well, not really. But hopefully by the next video of Jurassic World Alive, we will have enough DNA. We've got enough Suchamamamus one. We just need the Irritator Gen 2 one. Um, the Suchitator. I'm coming up against them a lot in the battle arena. Um, they're not too bad. They seem okay. They're nothing too, like, mental to come up against. But they're, uh, you know, they've, they've defeated me once or twice. Uh, we've also got our Nodosaurus here, who we may as well throw some levels onto. Just because he's got a hybrid. That's all I'm leveling up from now on. Hybrid dinosaurs. There's no other reason to... I'm, yeah, I don't know. There's no other reason to. And I think this guy's going to be a 10 with the Apatosaurus. So, oh, this guy's super close. That might be a hybrid... That's coming up for us, thankfully. Nice. I like it when there's like a little hybrid around the corner. Um, okay, so everything else is looking really, really good. All that's left is actually our Demetrodon, who's in our party. So this one here is really tempting to level up. But what are his hybrids? Oh, he's going to be a level 20 for the Magra... Wait, what was that? The Magna Pyrator. So I think that's a, a Pyroraptor. Probably... Oh my god, that's insane. And it's unique. I have no idea what unique means. But that's mental. If I ever come across one of them, I will be very, very shocked. Um, and his other hybrid was the Postometrodon, which is going to be a level 10 for. And what are we waiting on? The Postosuchus. So we got to get some more Postosuchus to make that one there happen. And then, of course, we've got the Euplocephalus, who's going to be a level 10. So if we are leveling him up, it's kind of wasteful. I think we're just going to leave him. Um, I also made some changes to my party recently. I switched out 
Um, blah, 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 blah. The Magnusuchus? No, Magnusuchus. I got rid of, uh, I got rid of the Majundasaurus. Majundasaurus. Or the, the hybrid version, the Majundasuchus. Majundasuchus. Um, and I've replaced him with three different types of dinosaurs. I got my Raptor, my Velociraptor. Um, uh, fastest dinosaur in the game that I have used so far. I think the, um... Indominus Rex might have been faster, I can't remember. I got the next fastest that I got, which is the Uteraptor, who also has the same pounce attack, which I love. He's actually a little bit better. And then I've got the uh, Erlikosaurus, which is awesome. Um, it's not as good as the other two, but still a very, very feisty one. And I'm going to show you guys why I use these three. Um, I base they're my starters. They're my starters. I start out with one of them because I get in with a really powerful first shot. Uh, but what I do want to do, I'm thinking of switching out our Gen 2 T-Rex with our Gen 1 T-Rex. Um, he just seems cooler. He's got a lot more damage, a lot more health. I think he's a little bit tiny, little itty bit slower. But his attacks are the same, so it's like, you know, is there any point? Not changing. His speed is really not that different. It's not going to affect us. So we're going to ditch you. We're going to bring in our Epic. And the only other dinosaur that I'm thinking of dropping soon is the uh, uh, Euphlocephalus guy, the... Uh, the ankle looking dude, because he's kind of very basic. But anyways, um, they're my current, uh, what do you call these things again? Incubators. We've got a 24-hour one currently being worked on. And we're currently at level 5 of the Badlands, which is, uh, sorry, level 5, which is the Badlands. On 2,100 trophies, there's also a leaderboard now. But um, to I think it only shows the top 500. Um, and... I think you need to be about 2,400 trophies to crack into the top 500 now. So we're close, but we're not there yet. Anyways, we've got ourselves a battle. Let's see who we're dealing with first up. Aha, all right, cool. Well, we've got our Raptor, so that's nice. We've got a Raptor, we've got a counter, we've got a tank, and we've got a, do we have a tank? Yep, we got a tank, and then we've got our like armor breaker. So this is pretty a pretty good, pretty good setup here. Anyways, we're gonna start off with the pounce. Does two times damage and it decreases their attack. So his attack I is he, basically the only way the raptor is gonna survive attack and attack. So we still got over half our health. Fantastic, that's what we want. And I'm gonna finish him off with our strike attack. This couldn't be going any better right now. The perfect start. And this is where I start with the Velociraptor any chance that I get to. He's thrown out the Stego. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult, especially because he's got the Thangamizer, which slows down my speed. But we're gonna start off with the Pounce again because it's gonna let us survive that first hit. But if he uses Thangamizer, which he is smart, and he did so, he actually killed us anyway. Either way, the Thangamizer either kills you or you die the next turn. All right, so he's got 1100 health, a little bit of, mm, okay, 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 okay. So he's gonna hit me with a strike. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that on with the Demetrodon. Um, what I love about the Demetrodon is he can, um, he is immune to any effects. So you can't drop his attack, you can't drop his speed. He is what he is. I don't think he can get stunned. I thought I would finish him. Um, I think we're good. He's going to strike us, so as long as he doesn't crit us, we should be good here. No crit, we're good. Okay, so we survived. We've taken down his second dinosaur, but ours is like on the ropes. We're on the verge of dying, so this isn't... It's not an ideal... Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Alright, so the Postometrodon. This is... I'm pretty sure it's the upgrade of what we're using right now. Um, I'm going to switch up, I think. We may as well go for it. Let's go for this. Drop our Rajasaurus in there. I'm a piercing impact. It's going to pack a punch, but we get a little counter on him. And he's still going to be faster than me, isn't he? He is. All right. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> that was quite stupid. Um, let me have a look here. He can do his adrenaline surge, increase damage. We're done. Oh, he swapped. Why would he do that? Also, what in the world is that thing? The Nodopanosaurus. Oh, my God. He's still faster than me, though. All right. Can I just get one hit in? Just please, 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 please. Yes! Okay. I'm going to use the bleed on him. We got the counter attack and the bleed, which means he's going to start taking a lot of damage over time, which is probably the only way that we actually survive this. Damage over time over two turns. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to let him, I'm going to let him take me out. I'm going to let him take me out. I don't mind. No! Wait, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We still got one dinosaur. I thought we'd had two deaths already. I was worried, but... He takes damage over time now. He's only got a thousand left. And I've got this big fella right here, ready to come in with that KO. So please, oh, he's got 25% armor. That's cool, that's cool, I'm faster. We're gonna come in with this attack, increase our attack, we should do about a 700. 400, oh, he's got armor and a shield. Oh, he's gonna decelerate me. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. Um, armor piercing impact could 
be quite devastating. I'm going to go for the uh, stunning impact. Just all we got to do is survive this hit, please. Okay. It's, 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 it's all or nothing. Come on. Come on. Yes. That's how you win. That's how it's done. I didn't think we're coming out on top of that one. I personally think if he didn't switch his dinosaurs, he probably would have beat me. I find that a lot. Um, people switch dinosaurs that they don't need to or when they don't need to. He could have beaten me. I'm adamant he would have beaten me if he didn't switch to his uh, fourth dinosaur. So you just got to be smart with your switcheroos. You don't want to switch unless you have to. I mean, sometimes I make the same mistake, but it's all good. So as you can see, no Velociraptor. So we're going to go for our second fastest dinosaur, the Utahraptor. And he hasn't started with his Velociraptor, so we should be good here. Okay, so we're going to go for the same strategy. Drop a pounce on him. Two times damage. Oh, no. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> but we're taking him down quite a bit. Um, it doesn't affect him. I completely forgot. He's immune to this sort of stuff. So we dead. It's unfortunate, but this strategy isn't foolproof, unfortunately. The Erlikosaurus is another fast guy. He's got this attack. It's a two times attack. So as long as we can deliver about a thousand damage, we got him. We should have that under control. There we go. He's dead. So now we're pretty much on a level playing field. Uh, one dinosaur down each. I'm full health. I can't use my pounce again. He's got the Spino Gen 2. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but now we've got this attack here, which deals one damage, one times damage. Um, but it reduces his attack by 75% for two turns. So it's quite a strong attack. I love it because he can only, unless, okay, we're good. Yeah, there we go. So we're taking damage over time. It's probably the best option he could have made there. But we're also not taking a lot of damage, so it's all good. And now we can drop out two times again on him. Our Rampage attack, which should drop him by about a thousand. And then hopefully we can just finish him off with one more attack if we survive long enough. So he striked us. He's weak though. Like I said, he's weak because we dropped his uh, he's dropped his attack by 75%. And we should be able to finish him with this, right? Actually, he just told me. Yep, this should be the, the finisher. Unless he switches. We're good. Two down, one to go. Let's see if he plays any games with the switcheroos of dinosaurs. Oh, he's dropping his Uteraptor. Whoa, I'm still faster apparently. I thought he had the speed advantage here. I can't even... Ah, there we go. Oh, only by one. Well, anyways, we can drop the counts on him or the rampage, whatever it is. Two times damage. Nearly got him all the way. And he's just used his, uh, his strike. So this is the way we've got to be careful. Because um, if he can one-shot one of my dinosaurs, I'm in trouble. We're just going to tank it. We're going with the Inosuchus. I'm dropping my crit bomb, whatever this thing is. If he switches... All right. He's going to be very lucky to get this, but I don't see it happening. He did it. He got the flame crew. <laughs> I didn't think he would do it. Oh, that was like a 90% my favor just there. Oh, I thought we were going to have it in the bag. I'm so disappointed about that. I thought we had that one. I thought we had it. Unfortunately not. Let's go for one more battle though. And we've got our T-Rex in the party this time. All right. So we've only got one of our speedy McGee's. The Uteraptor. We should be able to take this guy out. I would hope so. Uh, we're going to start with our Pounce. It's going to drop his attack. It just depends what he does with his shield. Okay, nice. Oh, he's got his counter. I forgot about the counter. All right, what did he do? Oh, ooh, ooh, he's little pinning strike gunners. Okay, well, see you later, my friend. You're going to die now. Your time is up. Ciao. Why do I got to save my crits for when they're dying? Why can't I use the crit a little bit like... Ah, oh, never mind. It's all good. The Baryonyx is actually a tough dinosaur. I don't like these guys. Um, they're pretty strong. If I had it, I'd probably use it. I don't have it, so I'm not using it. We're going to drop another pounce on him. Eesh. I don't know if he kills us. He doesn't. We can get one last little whack in on him. Uh, it's not going to kill him unless we get the crit. Or we can switch it and tank it. This is like a, This is a good idea to switch up. I think I'm just going to go for the hit. It is what it is. We didn't get the kill. I knew I wasn't getting the kill, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, who's coming out next? I think I'm going to use my Inosuchus. We can drop a basic hit on him. It's not It's not typically when I like to use my Inosuchus, but I'll, I'll just do it anyways. Um, I prefer to start... I don't know. I don't know. I prefer to use our... our what's the attack called? The Ferocious Strike. Which makes you a little bit stronger. Also, coming up against this guy is a little bit worrying. Do we go for the stun or do we go for the, the special? I think we're going to stun him. We have to try, right? 
What are the percentage chance? So it's a one in three chance that we, we, we stun him. I think we're going to do it. Let's see how it goes. Typically, I... Oh, we did it. Oh, yes. Typically, I would not play that out in that order. But we just saved ourselves two attacks. So we might get an extra one or two. Well, we'll definitely get one extra turn out of this guy. Possibly two. We're actually going to get him. We're actually going to do this. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, he wounded me. I think we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. That wound attack is bloody strong, I tell you. All right. And it's really tempting. I want to use my T-Rex. But then there's this guy who... Ah, oh, we're going for the T-Rex. We're going for glory. Our tank would have taken him out instantly. All right. I'm going for the bomb. Hitting strike. Interesting. I thought he was going to switch. I thought it was going to switch. He chose not to. Yeah, dead, son. Ciao. T-Rex has 100% win rate in my party now. Booyah! Any tough. So much better than the Gen 2. Mm, fantastic. So what's that? Two wins, one loss. We're up. We're up. We won two out of three today. And that seems to be how it goes. I think the most trophies I've had is about 2,220. I wanted to get that 2,250 halfway to the next like dome area type thing, but I, I didn't quite make it. But uh, I reckon this is a good time to wire this one up. Thank you so much to everybody who's tuned in for this episode of Jurassic World Alive. I'll catch up with you guys very soon in a couple days time with another update to my dinosaur collection. Um, and hopefully we're getting pretty close to that next tier of the battle dome level six, which is, let me just have a quick little peek. Um, level six is lockdown. And then level seven is the new one. But uh, if we can get to that one there, that would be absolutely incredible. But we'll see how it goes. Anyways, if you enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. And like I said earlier, let me know down below in the comments, what's your favorite dinosaur from the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park lore world is whatever you want to call it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one very, very soon. Bye for now.